So I've made some other videos that gets in a little bit more detail about the harms of clear cutting as well as the benefits of sustainable thinning, but I can't fit that into every single video. But in response to this comment, yes, the house that I am currently living in is built out of wood. That doesn't mean that we need clear cutting to get the wood to build houses. We can just as well get the wood to build houses with sustainable thinning practices. But I'm really glad that this was brought up because I'm sure that there are plenty of other loggers out there that think that you can only get wood from unsustainable clear cutting methods. As I have explained in this video and previous videos, there are indeed sustainable thinning practices and we need to start implementing them and start moving away from unsustainable methods like clear cutting for the future of our world and the future of the next generations. As I have mentioned in previous videos, replanting comes with unnecessary threats to the forest, including an increased risk in high intensity fires. Because the shorter growth of the replanting can act as a stepping stone to reach the high canopies of the mature forest, and this creates the ideal condition for high intensity fires to start and spread. And we don't want that because here in Oregon, that's a really big issue, and it is my hope that people take it more seriously. Don't spread the threat of fire, spread the truth of sustainable thinning practices. This person also mentioned overgrown forests. Yes, we do have forests that have been improperly managed, but that doesn't mean that the answer is clear cutting because believe it or not, unsustainable practices like clear cutting contribute to overcrowded forests. Of course, that's not the only reason. I think one of the biggest reasons is improper forest management overall, which started with the suppression of indigenous forest stewardship, which used sustainable thinning practices and controlled burns to build forest resilience. So when that was taken away, it created large areas of unmanaged forests. But good people of Oregon, unsustainable practices like clear cutting is not going to fix that. The way to fix this is to drastically increase sustainable forestry practices and proper forest management because this fire situation is only going to get worse. And the last thing that we want is for people to continue unsustainable practices in hopes that it will somehow reverse the damage. You can also still make money off of sustainable thinning practices, and the more that we support sustainable methods of harvesting, the more support we can get for our loggers. Because clearly there is a very strong need to educate our loggers in sustainable forestry practices. If loggers don't know that sustainable options exist, they're just going to keep contributing to the fire threat and damaging our forests, endangering our communities, their communities, and creating future problems for the next generations. And I don't think anyone actually wants that. That is why I made this video, in hopes that we can strengthen that conversation so that we can move towards more sustainable forestry practices. I support the education of our loggers. We definitely need them in our communities, but we also need them to start recognizing how their practices impact our communities and what they can do to help build community resilience through sustainable harvesting practices. If you care about the future of our forests and the future of the next generations, please give this video a like. Informed people can make more informed decisions that benefit our community and our society. And really the first step and the least that we can do is educate ourselves. So I hope that you will share this knowledge and look more into it on your own. Thanks for listening. Thank you for your comments. Live long and prosper.